Hello everyone, welcome to my annual video of getting my car up this hill when it snows. I've tested it with the Hyundai, obviously, with my Teslas, uh, with the Cayman, with the 911 that I have, with the rear wheel drive M3 that I used to own, which I now have replaced with an all-wheel drive M5, which you can also put into a rear-wheel drive. So today, in this very exciting test, we're gonna see how all-wheel drive M5 compares with when I disengage all-wheel drive and I put it in rear-wheel drive. We have all-season tires, a set of brand new all-season tires, and if you know me, I'm a huge fan of all-season tires because they work well in the warm climate, but also in the cold climate. Not as good as winter snow tires, I know that, but with the, uh, the level of driving that I do, all-season tires are fine. So, without any further ado, let's get the car out, let's do a couple of runs up this hill, and let's see how the car does. Let's get the car out. Four wheel drive sport and traction control disabled. Let's see. Oh yeah. So this is all wheel drive, traction control off. put the car in all-wheel drive mode, this is what happens. I'm also stuck. Let's back up a little bit. Once we get some snow under these tires, that'll create some grip, all-wheel drive grip. Oh my gosh, look at this. How can you not love all-wheel drive on a car like this, living in the area that I live in. Well, let's try this one more time. Let's put the car in rear-wheel drive mode. Let's see how it does. And this concludes my very scientific test of trying to see if my M5 can climb that hill. And as you can see now, this is one of the reasons why I sold my M3, because the M3 with rear-wheel drive simply could not get up this hill, as I demonstrated with the M5. In rear-wheel drive mode, it just wasn't moving. Once you engage all-wheel drive, and you kind of rock the car back and forth, it goes right up. So, all-wheel drive is the way to go for my lifestyle.